This is FLAX, the Flexible Language Acquisition Project. In FLAX, we have what's known as a library, because FLAX is built on open source digital library software called Greenstone. And this project is based at the University of Waikato in New Zealand. Now, within FLAX, we'll see some areas um, under ongoing research where the FLAX team have been building language collections for language learning and teaching purposes. If we go to the first one, web pronoun phrases, um, we'll come to an interface which tells us a little bit about how this collection was made. So the language has been taken from the web and it's specifically looking at patterns using pronouns. Now, if I choose the search function, which is the first function, I can look for phrases containing the words, let's say, discussed, a fairly typical word that might occur in, let's say, an academic text. And because I'm looking at academic language, because my class is an English for academic purposes class, I'm going to look at the it pronoun phrase. So if I just go on to search there, um, this word discussed will come up in relation to the it pronoun. So automatically the digital library will go through and organize the samples of language according to grammatical pattern, as you can see. Now, I'm quite interested in teaching my students the modal form, so I'm going to look at this sample here taken from the web, and I can see um, this highlighted section um, of the language occurring in context. So here we see the author's side effect is so common that it should be discussed with. So that's um, a snippet of language taken out of context. If we click on this icon here to the left, um, this icon symbolizes the actual web page that this has come from. And here it's linking us to um, an actual PDF that's found on the web. Um, but the digital library has created a shortcut for us. So within this text, we will find that particular um, occurrence of it should be discussed with. Um, let's go to the third one here, clicking on another web document. And this takes us to the University of Auckland's website um, within the Faculty of Education looking at course regulations. Um, so once again, this language it should be discussed with, the course coordinator um, has been uh, linked back to the particular sample from the web. Now if we return to our initial search, you'll see on the right hand side is the icon of the British Union Jack. Now this stands for the British National Corpus. And if we click on this, we'll find examples from the BNC. And once again, the language is highlighted and it's placed within a nice contextualized example. So let's, let's change this somewhat to discuss um, in the present tense. And let's see what happens when we search. Um, here we've got uh, future tense. The purpose of this paper is to tell the complete story from creation to blah blah blah. It will then discuss. Oh, that looks like very typical signposting language that we might um, find useful to teach to our students. Now, this is. Um, a web publication from the Harvard Law School, so that looks quite useful. And um, if we directed our students to read this text, they would find samples of this particular signposting language. Once again, let's go to the BNC and see what they've got for us. Ah, 